Oh man, she back. That bitch witch is back, Martin. Bridget Jones? No, oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, this was a little nicer right here. No, we're talking about she's so bad that they just didn't even call. They took the project off. They, right. Like I said before, they took out them project, took that D <laughs> off. We just got Blair Witch now. Mm-hmm. And not even the not even the I think it might be on there like no this this is the oh not even the it's just Blair Witch just Blair Witch you better recognize what this movie is about right here and a lot of people are excited about the Blair Witch coming back but uh you know what it was all hype before y'all know that y'all know the Blair Witch is the sorriest fucking movie monster out there I mean think think about it Th- really think about it the, the Blair Witch is so fucking lazy she don't even show up. You know what I'm saying? Or she's just that good. <laughs> and, uh, don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, you know, you go you go see a monster movie to see a monster. You and when a movie's called The Blair Witch, you expect to see a witch. Somebody flying on a broom. Or somebody around a broom <laughs> cackling and shit. <laughs> you don't see shit. Mm-hmm. She wait for everybody to go to bed so she can spread around them shitty arts and crafts that she got. <laughs> <laughs> she she's while, while the movie's going on, she over at Michael's art supplies and she's her people. Pinterest idea. <laughs> yeah. Like this. It's just not moving. <laughs> yeah. All your little stick man and all these d- shitty dream catchers. <laughs> She, she got shit that homeless people sell on the street. You know, she. <laughs> well, hip, hippies. More like. <laughs> I mean, she, she, she is not in the movie, and she even got her own action figure. Like the, word, yeah. How do you even know what she looked like? Exactly. I don't know, cause she ain't in the movie. But that's 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 an official. Blair Witch action figure. Wait, right McFarland's there. Blair Witch. Well, yes. Like which one is her? Cause those look completely different. That's the thing, man. She she's she plays dual roles in her movies, and you never see them. <laughs> she, she plays, she morphs in her movies. You don't ever see it though. Yeah, that's my, that's from a McFarlane toy right there. That's what I wanted to see in the movie, but she never showed up. But you know what? That's the thing about the Blair Witch. I I have to say the 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 Blair Witch Project, which came out in 1999, that was a movie where I got to give it. I got to give it his props because the Blair Witch, if, if there's one thing you can say about her, that she did good, she got some great marketing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, she, <laughs> All right, yeah, she, 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 she knows how to hype her hype. Mm-hmm. And that movie is, I, that's one of the most admired movies by me, not only for the, the, the marketing hype behind it, but for a lot of reasons. I'll get into that later. But they're expecting that same magic. When I say it really is magic, I mean, they want to have lightning strike in a bottle. Again, because the circumstances that happened with the first Blair Witch, then the Blair Witch Project, some people say, you ain't ever going to do that shit again, <laughs> ever. That is that is the, a true phenomenon right there. Well, let's go ahead and see, because they actually had a little bit of their own marketing before Blair Witch, the one we're about to see right now. And I, we're going to watch the trailer, and we're going to actually see if it, can, if it can match up to its own hype that is given out right there, and also the hype that it was able to generate Years ago, back in 1999, Blair Witch. What is that? The guy who uploaded this video said it was from a tape he found in the Black Hills woods. I think that might be my sister. You really think your sister could still be out there after all these years? If there is any chance that I could find out what happened to her, I need to try. Legend said there's been a curse on these woods. Do you believe in the stories about the Blair Witch? Oh my god. This looks familiar. We've been walking in a circle. No way. They're everywhere. Who could have done this? You did this! Something out there. We found it! That's not your sister, that can't see her! 
even that D got scared away. You know? <laughs> it's Blair Witch. <laughs> the juice is back. <laughs> yeah. All the other words just left. <laughs> you know what? A lot of people say that this movie was the first of its kind, and that's not really true. There was a a movie in 1998 that came out. It was called The Last Broadcast. With the, the Jersey Devil, right? With the Jersey You're Devil. Not, it was a dude yeah, that was accused of murder, and he was trying to tell people the whole time, nah, it was that devil out there, man, I'm that Jersey Devil. <laughs> or Jersey Shore. <laughs> you know, both of them are equally as horrifying. But this right here, man, it wasn't it, – the thing that – the reason why that didn't catch on so much is because – as I was saying, the uh, the Blair Witch Project, it was a one-of-a-kind deal because of the marketing that was behind it. You know, this is a, this was a movie where they, uh, they, the marketing behind that was so well calculated that a lot of people, it, they led a lot of people to think it was real. That was the hook right there. Right. These, mm -hmm. these three people, y'all remember the, the Blair Witch Project? It was At the time, there was three people who went out in the woods. They started to get lost. They were in that area where they were looking for the Blair Witch, and they thought it was just a joke. Ends up, they ran up on that bitch for real, and she, mm -hmm. did, and she put them in a time warp, and no one ever saw them again, 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 again. I just want to apologize to Mike's mom and Josh's mom and my mom. <laughs> Aspiring young filmmakers were fucking pissed at the time. Mm -hmm. They were. Wait, wait, I spent months, a year working on a script, hiring actors. Man. And that's all I had to do. <laughs> they, 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 had, they had film students and filmmakers that were coming up and they wrote the greatest script in the world in their mind. They were trying to raise thousands of dollars so they, they could shoot on pristine film. And then these two directors of this movie just threw three people out in the woods with some shitty cameras uh -huh. and had them yell at each other from behind bushes. You know, that was the whole film right there. Can and I see the script? <laughs> Not a script. Hey, hey, no, just get out there. Oh, yeah, here's the script. Hello! <laughs> Hello! What happens in the movie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Just, just run around. Oh, they stand in the corner for about two seconds. That's it. <laughs> the end. <laughs> this is, but it was the marketing behind this. I was 12 when this came out, man. I thought this was legit real. Oh, you did? Yeah, because like the way they did it, like you talking about the marketing. They this was when the internet was first getting big, and they put a lot of the footage <laughs> and stuff on the internet. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, these are like real people. Until yeah. I saw them at the MTV Awards. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I was like, man, come on, <laughs> man. You ain't look. You ain't the I've only been one. Bamboozled. <laughs> man, you ain't the only one. Everybody was fooled. They saw that snot coming out that girl's nose right there. Yep. <laughs> and they're in, and you know, that's that's when the first time people had seen snot that close on screen. It's like, true. that's it, man. This, and I'm not being, I'm not lying. Be like, man, they, so, they show snot. You know that's real right there. <laughs> yeah, nobody would ever let you film them with snot in their nose. Yeah, man, you know, that's, like, that's some NC-17 shit right there. You know, it was, people thought that uh, this was real. If I had, I'm not going to lie. I'm not one of those people who was above this. I actually love the first uh, Blair Witch Project. And uh, a lot of people, to this day, they still think it's real. Some of the families, they oh, said oh, for, seriously? For, for years, it's, they said that they were getting let, uh, letters from strangers saying, condolences i heard about your missing kid <laughs> you know and i'm sorry about it and, and the thing that didn't help is like that's heather donahue i think is her name she, they, these people actually kind of disappeared either like one guy became an, ele uh, an elementary school counselor uh, and one <laughs> Ooh, yeah yeah <laughs> scary <laughs> the curse is real <laughs> <laughs> you know little hands on that movie <laughs> she had them all on him <laughs> Do this. Get your little ass over there. Yeah. Hey, it's an art project. Yeah. Do some finger painting over here. Uh, she just totally got out the game. She started a weed business. Uh, Heather Donahue, the real actress right here, she says, yeah, it was just all of them just kind of left the scene. So be, them, being, them being out the picture, people thought like, man, they actually died. You didn't hear about them no more. And one no more movies. They were just movies nobody saw. <laughs> so It only killed their career. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, it, that that's the thing that, that that you have to understand that that's a major important part of that. There was no Google at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, all you had were things like uh, uh, AOL. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know AOL ain't gonna tell you shit. You know, you could try to ask Jeeves, he ain't gonna tell you nothing. Yeah, I end up in a chat room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more about Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah, man, there were no real hardcore uh, search engines out there to to exp There was no Snopes. To expose the right. fakeness that was going on. So, really, this is a product of his time. And you know what? Because of that, that marketing genius back then is exactly what I just said. Genius. You take away that marketing genius, you take away the marketing period, it's just fucking cheap. 
I mean, this, I don't know what y'all thought about it, but I ain't gonna even hold back. This is a goddamn cash grab right here. Y'all know, you know what you're doing with this. Y'all made. I'm telling y'all, y'all read the story on this, and they're trying to create the hype again. This showed at a film festival, I think Toronto International Film Festival. It showed somewhere. Maybe it was Sundance. It was somewhere, and they lured people in to see a movie that they thought was going to be another movie, and people were like, oh, shit, the Blair Witch is back. They, were, they didn't know what they were watching until it, until it happened. Mm-hmm. And so people bought into that hype, and they're just kind of like, oh, shit, another Blair Witch movie, and I was the first to see it. Oh, my God. And yeah, they actually did that. Yeah, they, <laughs> I'm a wild and crazy guy. You know? <laughs> people fell into the hype. And so now uh, the oh you mean with this new one with this new yeah. one okay yeah, and so now that some of these people who saw this they're like oh man you can, it's gonna be this is the scariest fucking thing that you've ever seen oh my god you're not gonna believe this when you see it it was it just freaked me the fuck out just got the same magic as the first one and you know what it's it, people it's bullshit don't buy into the hype I'm just warning you right now now you if you really want to see this you're gonna see it and you might even like it but I'm telling you how I felt. I love the first one. Give, I couldn't wait to see this. And I walked in there, and they made the same goddamn movie as they did before. And they tried to put some little twist on there. Oh, uh, who's the guy in this? His name was uh, James. That's, that's the actor's real name, by the way. James Allen M- M- uh, McCoon. He's like... He's like, oh, my, I got to find, my, I was four years old. My sister Heather disappeared. I got to go out in the woods and find her. Don't you think that if she never showed up, you you going to die too? You know, it's a, d- dumb decision number one. They go out there and do the same exact fucking thing that they did before. But that's just, that is just something to like throw you off. When you go see this movie, it is the same film that you've seen before. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They got like two or three more dumbasses in here. Oh, and they also gave them. They also gave them uh, GoPros and a drone, so you could see their stupidity from different angles. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I'm not. I don't know what y'all felt about it, but this right here is one of the laziest uh, sequels disguised. Uh, uh, one of the laziest uh, remakes disguised as a sequel that I've ever seen, man. And it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't, if it wasn't uh, as cheap as it is. Because you know what, to go and, and, and do a remake of something, disguise it as a sequel, that's fine if you put some money behind it and you actually go out there and make an effort. I mean, we've seen this done several times. I mean, mm-hmm. fucking Star Wars is just a remake of uh, a, a New Hope. Yeah, I ain't complaining. Everybody wanted that. Fine, you got it. You know, they put some effort behind it. They loved it. <clears throat> Ever since the Blair Witch Project has come out, we've seen found footage. And we've seen found footage in many different forms. We've seen it now expand to, uh, to comedy. Martin, I want to throw a Project X party so bad. Two grown-ass <laughs> men. We want to burn the fucking neighborhood down. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the consequences. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen it with science fiction slash superhero things. We've seen it with action films and cop dramas. I mean, fucking uh, Blumhouse. They're remaking the same horror movie over and over again with found footage. We're used to found footage. We know in found footage at the end, at least in horror, ain't nobody gonna make it. Right. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. that's the, 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 the Blumhouse is killing the genre itself. They don't put out so many shitty uh, found footage movies because it's cheap to do. That's why they do it. And this right here, this could have been something that could have been really inspired because this whole mythology that they built up with the Blair Witch. Say what you will. I mean, it's still something that can be explored. And they were too, not only lazy to explore because they really want to make a quick buck, but I'm going to call it out. That's what they're doing. They want to make a big buck. But also, they're scared. They went back and did the, they went back and did the safe thing because y'all remember Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows. That yeah. train wreck. <laughs> oh, and I, you know, I can't blame y'all for doing that. But just a little bit of thought. I mean, because the Book of Shadows, if you haven't seen it, it was not found footage. They actually tried to tell a narrative. They were trying to make a real movie and failed miserably at it. Mm-hmm. That was one of them. That was like the, the top. It was the shittiest well, movie was, of the year it came it, out. It, it was the, the real proof that there was nothing there. There you go. That's, I couldn't have put it better right there, man. It was nothing there. Blair Witch Project, I will give credit to because that's the one movie where it was more of a sensory horror film. Uh, it rely- and I don't mind that. I mean, it was a whole experience. People buying into the fake police reports. Mm-hmm. People buying into the fake stories, the, pol- the, the fake testimonials. Uh, and when you got there, it was all sound and it was all claustrophobia. 
you know, it's uh, these people being lost in the woods. I like that they they did the you know the bare minimum, a bare minimalist horror film where you don't see the creature, and yet you're terrified. I mean, it really played with people's mind. Not showing the creature as much, you know, as much as I want to see this Todd McFarlane shit right there in the movie. I'm glad that they didn't do it because it really left a lot to to, to people's imaginations. Uh, it was. It really is an anomaly. You're not going to see anything like that. You're going to see something probably similar, but no, nothing ever like this again, especially with this piece of shit right here. I, you know, Maybe they thought that they were really doing something, but I'm not fucking buying it, man. I feel like you as a moviegoer do not need to be duped into seeing the same shit that you saw years ago, especially when half the experience is not there. You can't do this shit again. We know what happens here, especially when it's the same goddamn film. Go ahead, Mark. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is It is so much the same film. I mean, the thing is, where I differ from you is that I'm not gay for that first Blair Witch. I fucking hated it. I'm not it, gay for it either. Yeah, I wanna, yeah you are. You, you just spent, you spent 20 minutes singing its praises. I, I think it's great. I don't want to fuck the movie. <laughs> like, no, nah, man, you you sung its praises to, to the heavens. And, and everything I think is wrong with that movie, you was like, I love how it was minimalist and it didn't show anything and it only had three people. And I was like, yeah, that's all the shit I hated about that movie. And all the hype that led up to it that, that you bought into. I mean, Corey was 12. I, he, he can be excused. I didn't buy any of that. <laughs> I, I didn't give a shit about the marketing. I was sitting there watching a movie going like, wow, these are three dumbass people out here just just because, hey, we're white and we're looking for something to do. And, 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 and <laughs> That's racist, man. No, no, no it's true. It's, 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 it's so true. true. <laughs> it, is, it is so true. Like, like, like no real motivation. And when they're getting caught up in this shit, I didn't care. I was bored as fuck. And, and only to get to the end where it's like, oh, and at the end, I get nothing. Yes, yeah, it's left to my imagination. Of course it's left to my imagination because they ain't have shit there. They're like, uh, you figure out what we were going for. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I fucking hated that first movie. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you loved it because I'm not going to, you know, you, hey, you enjoyed I something. Appreciate it for for it. I, pre I appreciate it for what it did. I appreciate it for the whole thing, man. Just, just have, I have no love for it whatsoever. So here I am watching the same movie again, and I'm like, wait a minute. They actually have a motivation. I, I, I get why these guys are out here doing this. Uh, there's a, there's a writer on here. It feels more like it's it's only found footage because they're you know they have to because that's what these movies are about. But it could just as well have not been that. There's plenty of moments where I was genuinely scared. Matter of fact, th there's a there's a part where uh, they bring up a, a claustrophobia that I didn't even know I had. And I was sitting there kind of squirming in it. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? This was like round two. I was like, this is this is way better. This is what I thought I was going to get the first time. It's the same fucking film. How you you, you it's, just it's, you don't it's, like it's, the it's, first it's, one? It's, it's the same it, thing. No, no, it's it's the same film where somebody went in and said like, "Wait, I know what's wrong with this. L let me try it again." It's it's what did they it's, improve it's not on? The same, it's, it's, like, not the same it's not the same. It's not even any real it's motivation. The then, like, like it's the same motivation as in the same movie. Like no, I want to go out no, there and the Blair and Witch. And the no, first one it was I'm in college and I'm gonna go make a documentary. And this one was hey, this guy uploaded some footage with my sister in it who went missing 20 years ago and I want to find her. So like, I think that's a little bit better motivation that I just want to go out and film some shit. Yeah. Mm, I don't See, know, man. Th that's I think... the thing. Okay, you got there late, and you missed a lot of stuff that happened early. I saw it in the trailer. I don't need no, to. No, 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 no. Actually, there were some, some important things that happened before you got there. You, you walked in a little late. I walked you in you did. like 10 minutes late, and I saw that's a whole not, movie. That is not true. That's not true at all. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. You find out some, some things going on. It's just some of the relationship dynamics between the people that are there. That that you that I like it killed me that you missed some of that because I was like uh, he would have really enjoyed this and understand why these people are acting this way against each other. I and I you know what I I expected to not like it and I got caught up in it. Uh, you know what I hey man you do you I can't I can't talk to you man. What's, what about you? I didn't I don't want to be in between y'all. God damn it. Do your uh, thing, man. Shit. Um, I, I actually, I, I love the first one just like you did. I, I had a real ball with it, but again, I was 12 or 13. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? He fake spit at you. I hope it was fake. I mean, that was cough, man. I didn't do that. trouble, man. Um, but with this one, yeah, like with the first one, it was, all right, we're just going to go out into the woods and have some fun. And this one, all right, I'm trying to go find my sister. And like you said, the payoff in, in, the, in the end of the first one was, all right, there's nothing there. But in this one, man, they threw the kitchen sink at the very end. The last, like, 15 minutes of this, I was like, wow, you're actually getting to see certain things that they didn't. They kind of alluded to in the first one. Or maybe, you know, they're showing more, 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 uh, 
more what's the word I'm looking for? Like he said more more types more of bullshit. fear. No, more types of fear. Like he said it's claustrophobia, um, being isolated, having something crawling under your skin, like things like that. And I was like, all right, these are genuine shocks here. I, I the one thing about this movie I didn't really <clears throat> appreciate was it had a shit ton of jump scares, almost the lights out level. Um but outside of that, man, I thought it was really competent filmmaking. And I thought I'm not gonna say this this is on par with the first one, but it's it I, I enjoyed this movie, dude. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know what? I being the voice of reason right here, two <laughs> horror fans. You know, <laughs> keep in mind people, they're the one that gives they give me shit for liking a, a great horror film this uh this summer. Uh they, they make fun of me every every week for <laughs> for loving uh Don't Breathe. A movie that everybody likes. Like, and you, lights out. And, and and Lights Out got good reviews, too. You know, but that's okay. I, you know, I, and I told y'all that shit, this shit was going to happen. I told you going to be some bullshit. And hey, you know what? I don't want to start nothing, man. I don't want to start nothing with y'all. I, 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 in fact, you in, saw he had that Bobby Brown job. Yeah, yeah. In, in fact, you know what? I'm going to be I'm gonna be fair. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have your look. When you get mad, you do this shit right there. I'm oh, gonna no, you're this. on the show. I'm way I'm more than my... Oh, yeah, it's coming out. My Corey Goop is coming out right now. Hey, man. Now, you know what? But here's the deal. Mm-hmm. I'm, I ain't gonna, you know, I don't, I don't feel like, I don't feel like like coming at y'all today. Cause all y'all do is just gonna gang up on me. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work with you here. I'm gonna work with you. Let's work together. Okay. You know, let's let's, right. let's not do this black on black shit, right? Now. I'm gonna work with you. BLM, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we matter. Let's, you know, let me tell you something. I, I, I do agree with you. The ending, the cla- the climax. Mm-hmm. It does give you a lot more than what you got. I mean, they, they, you know, they're, they're able to work with more. Uh, you get glimpses of, I'm not going to even spoil anything, but you get glimpses of what you want from this kind of movie, knowing what they did in the original. You, uh, it's, it's way more frantic. It is way more claustrophobic. And you know what? They even, they even get to a point where it becomes a true haunted house movie. And they and they work well with tight spaces, and, and you know that and that's one of the things that's going on here with them working with cheap cameras back in uh, back in 1999 on a, on a, the Blair Witch Project. They weren't able to take a full advantage of the of the space that they were given. Right. You know the and this one, it's not cheap cinematography like the first one. You know this is actual this is actual production right here. So you know that's why they're able to do a little bit more. However. <laughs> that is oh well you try I try <laughs> however as I talk about this I, I think about some things like that is the last eight minutes of the movie mm-hmm. oh don't you get mad at me too <laughs> Mr. Frames Mr. Frames there you go Mr. Frames <laughs> thank you Mr. Frames <laughs> uh, you, that is the last eight minutes of the movie and I also didn't like the actors one of the see you, you, here's something that you're talking about with the Blair Witch Project. You gonna come at me? You gonna get mad at me? You are gonna tell me how much I'm full of shit and I'm gay for the movie? That's fine, man. But I'm gonna tell you one thing right here, brother. I'm gonna tell you that that in that in the first Blair Witch Project, the it was a it, it was a, a a valuable asset to have people out there ad libbing. It was a valuable asset to have people out there who did not seem like actors. These people out there were who were just saying lines off the top of their heads and just interacting with each other. That, that's what added to the allure of this, the believability of it. That's what made people really uh, buy into it. They, they look like real people. The actors in this movie, that's what they seem like. This thing is so scripted that they seem like actors. And I'm not talking about the actors themselves. I always don't put the blame on them because it's, it could be the direction, it could be the material. But as far as their line readings in here, it's terrible. There's one guy in there, he has to say one line. He says it the most obvious, phony way. There's, there's a line where everybody's like, got, they're jumping on him, and they because everybody's turning on each other. And mm-hmm. he looks at everybody's like, well, fuck that. And I was like, Jesus, man. I'll, I'll give you that, man. But the, the one thing about it is, is I don't think they could have came, came back and done this, did, do the same thing they did with the first one because we already expect the Blair Witch to have you know this kind of situation. So I, I liked it. They added an actual story in here. Like Martin said, you're missing that, those first couple of minutes. You miss, you, you miss a lot of character development. Was, so you like, and it wasn't a couple. It was fifteen minutes. There's no yeah, but <laughs> fucking story here, man. Hey, well, yeah, there, there so really, was, there really was. was story here, dude. There really was. I think I, you know what I really think it was. I think you just had a bad theater experience. You let that transfer into this movie because you no, got called out. I knew, I out knew you were gonna blast. say that. I knew you. My, it, it, it did happen. I, I, that is not. It's important. like it wasn't enough that you showed up fifteen minutes late, but then also you were arguing with the theater manager and back and forth and. Yeah, your, your, your whole had, experience was. I bad. am a fair man who do not let life influence my decisions on my reviews of films. I went in there 
fair. You know what? I'll go ahead and do, you know, what I'll, I'll let you actually get. I don't want to do this shit. I'll let you go ahead. <laughs> Damn, brother. I, I'll let you. I, I, see, I can't reach you. You know, obviously you like the movie. Obviously you think I came in with baggage. I think I liked it better than you did, yeah. Um, I mean, overall, man, the one thing about this movie is when you're watching it, you do get a lot of, if you, especially if you saw the first one, you get a lot of callbacks to it. Obviously you get the dolls, you get them turning on each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought that was, and again, that was something I thought they did better too, the way they turned on each other. And the first one, it was just, I kicked the map in the river. That the, that, that first movie, it completely lost me at that point. Yeah. When he just says, I kicked the map in the river. I was like, that's your ad lib? Why did you do that? Oh no, man, I just kicked the shit in the river. It's like, Fuck this. Well, you know, I, 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 this one, and this is another thing with this. This is where we do disagree. They, they do add more, but they're just, you know, to me, it seems like they're just trying to add more because they don't have anything. There are certain moments in there where if you want, I mean, I give them credit for trying. There are moments in here where they... So generous. A you know, pacing trophy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You made a movie. Yeah. Hey, y'all have the same attitudes on shit you don't like. Don't make it act like I'm the only one here doing this. And y'all know they do that shit. You know, there are moments in here where they try to add more gore. They try to add gross out moments. They try to add. They try to add. Uh, they try to add effects in here, but to me, those things don't really work when there's no momentum for a story there. I know they think there's one. If there's one, if that's one, if there's one for you there, then it's there. For me, it was not. I. You know what? I. I gladly pull back. This. This. This is how fair I'm gonna be. I gladly pull back and let you guys take the floor here and give your ratings and your closing statements. That's what you say before you interrupted us. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, with this movie, man, the one thing I, I felt like they they built the story up and they do what a lot of horror movies kind of today don't do, where they just kind of build it up and then they just kind of fall flat on their face. With this one, it was a really slow build, but the second once they got to the end, I was like, all right, this was a great payoff for something I thought I wasn't going to go into and enjoy. I, I give this a matinee, man. I had a fun time watching this movie. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Thomas. Full price. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with Corey. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you missed the beginning that set it up because we're, one of the things that bothered me so much with the first movie was that it felt agendaless up until they got to the end, which I don't know how you se- you, you know you didn't see that, but here they they slowly build it from the beginning. I mean, it's not like everybody wants to be there, but it's more like a well, he's my friend and I'm I'm doing this for him. And then when they're stuck, I see them doing things where I go like, "Why don't you just do this?" I was like, "Oh, they did that. Okay, they tried. They they had things set up. They were just they were just caught. It was nothing they could do." And there were so many moments of it where I was genuinely terrified, and it just it kept moving. It kept moving into, into the next thing. I I give it a, a very high matinee. Okay, and I respect that. I really no, do. no, I do, I do, man. I'm I'm respectful. I'm a, I, you know I I told people the other day. I said I'm gonna get out this whole thing of uh, being just vehemently disagreeing uh, disagreeing with you. you mm-hmm. know, I'm, I'm, I understand where you come from, and I let you have that. <laughs> well, I'm being targeted. We no, I'm, not, I'm just no, I'm, tell, I'm just telling you this. But if y'all want the real shit on this, here's the thing. Now, y'all, <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is because a lot of people out there, a lot of people remember the the Blair Witch Project with funness, and I'm trying to keep you from going to see. Now, I, I'm not trying to. You do what you want to do, but I will tell you this much: you right now can get yourself a flashlight, a camera, phone, and some trees tonight. Go out there to the fucking, go out there to the park, go out to the woods, and just run around in the fucking dark and yell people's names. Just, be, in fact, if you want to, even get your sister or your girlfriend to make some shitty stick man and hang it up in the woods and hide behind a bush, going like, <laughs> you know. Are, are you really just movie? described the first yes, movie? that's the first movie. Nah, I'm telling you with this. <laughs> I'm talking about this <laughs> right here. Ah, no, nah, you stop. You stop. You can make this goddamn movie yourself and get the same thing. It is, it is, it is. Maybe I missed 15 minutes, but from what I saw, it was another 40 minutes of people out in the woods yelling each other's names. Hey, where you at? I'll make the fucking, you know what? I can make this fucking movie for you right now. I can sit up here and make it dark right now. And I can, and all I gotta do is get this camera. Hey! Hey, Martin, help me! Martin, oh God! Oh God, Marty! You know what? You're welcome. You work us. I, I just saved you eleven dollars, twelve dollars. If you New York, twenty fucking dollars. I saved you some fucking money. I just did the movie for you right there. I, you know, let me make sure I got the hey, hey, fucked up your camera in the yeah. process. <laughs> I was like, oh, if it falls, oh my god. Hey, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> just like new. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> I'm t- <laughs> You just described the first movie. I just dude. described the movie you saw, and this movie for all of y'all who really know real horror out there, for all of y'all who value your money, for all of y'all who know a story when you see it, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Listen to my words. It's bullshit. 
test the track record with the real horror people in here. His, mine, what do you got? I'm usually the one who's more fair-minded with this stuff. I'm the real fan. Bullshit. I'm telling you. I'm Thank telling you. you. I heard a no from the audience. No, you oh, didn't. No. That, you know you who said no? They're full of shit. They're just trying to cause trouble. Seriously. No, for with, Denise. With, with horror, Denise. You, with horror, you got two speeds. Full price or bullshit? Nothing in no, between. No, I know. That yeah, is true. Yeah, Denise was lost in the woods before she got here. She gonna fucking tell, <laughs> tell us what's going on. I'm just trying to help you. That's all I'm trying to do. But I do respect your opinion. No, I really <laughs> no you don't. Don't play us, Coleman. I do. I do. You know, you, you're you my comrades. <laughs> I can't wait to that day when you see the whole movie and go like, oh, I actually like this. Maybe I missed the first 15 minutes, but what happened? It, it was matter. only a tenth of the movie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.